this video we're going to show you how to assign a static IP address to a Microsoft Azure virtual machine. So by default, when you can when you set up a VM in Azure, it wants to use DHCP and automatically assign it an IP address. But sometimes, like if you're going to configure a domain controller or that kind of thing, you want to give it a static IP address, and we're going to show you how to do that. So we're on this Windows 10 VM right here. Let's say we want to just give this a static IP. So first we're going to check the current configuration here. And this is 10.0.0.6, and we want to make it 10.0.0.20. And as you can see here, if we go to our properties of our network adapter and TCP IP 4, it's set to obtain IP address automatically, so we, don't, we want to give it a static. And so what we could do is we get out of here, go into our Azure portal here, go to the dashboard, and this is the computer we want right here. Or you could also go to virtual machines. Do you want to get a more a cleaner view? So we're going to click on this Win 10-1. And then we're going to go to networking. And we want to pick our network interface. Yours will probably be named something differently, so click on that. And then we want to go down to the IP configurations. And here's our IPv4 address with the 10.0.0.6 that we saw. And we can see that it's set to dynamic. So we click on that. And down here we want to set this to static. Change this to 20. Click on save and it's going to give us a message saying that it's going to be reprovisioned and the VM is probably going to have to be restarted. And so click on save again. And now it says it's saving the network interface. And this might take a minute. Okay, so as you can see, it saved the network interface. And the remote desktop connection actually went down there, so it rebooted the computer. So that's good. So let's go back to our dashboard. And go into Win 10-1 and connect. Okay, so we're back on our VM after the reboot here. So if we do an IP config, you'll see that we're 10.0.0.20, just like we wanted. And if we go back to our configuration in Azure, we have 10.0.0.20 and a static private IP address. So looks like everything worked out. And that's how you do it. All right, thanks for watching.